must be the first of the month. But unfortunately, when a farmer wakes up in the morning, he doesn't say rabbits. He says, eh, rabbits, and does his best to get rid of them. The trouble is, they eat things. What does he think they are, fairies? The owners of this particular bit of excavation don't seem to be very interested, not in us anyway. But if you dig down far enough, you'll find the younger members of the family. Allow us to introduce them to you. Don. James. Charles and Clifford. That's Clifford. That's Clifford too. So is that one. And that. He's always the ringleader. And when the family is about three weeks old, he runs off the passage brrrr, and pops out the front door. What a funny place. What funny people. Come up here, boys. I think there's going to be a party. Clifford first, of course, with Charles close behind. Johnny! And James, the nervous one. Well, the party seems to have died on them, so they made one of their own. The farm cart has just been passed and dropped some turnip leaves, and Clifford, of course, is the first to try them. Here are the other three, but Charles goes off on his own, leaving James and John to share a leaf. Ah, lovely piece of leaf. He should have kept quiet about it. Clifford heard what he said and now he's lost it. No, oh, well, never mind. I'd just as soon have a dandelion. When it comes to non-stop eating, there's not much to choose between any of them. But Mother senses danger. And although Clifford goes on eating, John makes a beeline for home. Clifford went on eating, but John was so curious he couldn't resist coming up to the front door to see what the fuss was about. The owl. Mother had warned them about him. The owl saw John when John wasn't looking. But Clifford went on eating. Well, it isn't surprising that in a fortnight he had grown to this size. Devil Macare, adventurous, leading Charles and John on all sorts of eating festivals. Where's John? Oi! Guess who's eating the grass? Clifford. Charles goes exploring. But James, well, James is rather different from other boys, if you know what I mean. Highly strung, you know. It's usually some time before he begins to join in and then after... Oh, look. Somebody's watching them from the grass and they haven't noticed it. But Clifford's quick eye sees a movement and he gives the signal to hide and keep still. It's Badger. So long as they don't move, you can hardly see them. Keep still. James's nerves can't stand the awful strain any longer. 
Bolt for it then. Too late. But Clifford went on eating, and in about another two weeks he was a big, handsome rabbit. Mind you, so was Charles. They had a lot of good times together, racketing around and laughing about the narrow escapes they'd had. But as the days rolled by, Charles developed into something of a dandy. Clifford got a bit bored with it and went off and left him alone. It was all very peaceful. Too peaceful, really. Charles remembered what happened to James when he didn't stay put, so he stayed in the open. Oh, poor Charles. But Clifford went on eating. He ate a lot. And he washed a bit, not too much. And he sunbathed. And he thought. And he thought he'd pop out and get something to eat. Oh, look, they must be exceedingly well-to-do people living in that house. They've planted a whole garden full of potatoes and turnips. But he was a dreadful miser. He wanted to eat his potatoes and turnips himself. Look out, Clifford! And the dreadful miser got awful indigestion, but Clifford went on eating forever. <laughs> <laughs> 